elephants. <laughs> Why would I make that up? Uh, I vote for a crib because it's a boy and it needs to be behind bars. <laughs> That is so sexist. Oh, duh, I can't be sexist, I'm oppressed. You're telling me about oppression? What do either of you know about depression? For 5,000 years, my people know no, something. Guys, guys, wait a minute. Let's, let's, let's just all remember that when we try our best, we're never oppressed. I uh, have to go to work, so I guess I'll... See everybody later. Oh, Greg, here's some stuff we need for the baby. Okay, thanks. And if you're near a florist or a wooded area, we need moss. Moss? And a fifth of Jack Daniels? Naomi, you are so close to your 90-day chip. Great reverb in the bathroom. Abby, who's this? This is Sean. He's like, he's like our village troubadour. Play what you got already, Sean. Dharma and Roy adopted a boy. Uh, my name's Greg. Greg, huh? <laughs> okay, now that is gonna be tough. Um, <laughs> oh, do you have a, a wooden leg or, or a drink from a keg? <laughs> I gotta go. You know, I don't understand. If she adopted the baby, why does she need him? <laughs> anyway, I was turned down by Juilliard because my left leg was ever so slightly shorter than my right. When I spin, I tend to drift. <laughs> oh, you must have been heartbroken. Oh, heartbroken doesn't begin to describe it. I meandered aimlessly about Europe for a couple of years, just shopping, having pointless affairs with exotic foreign men. Oh, Kitty! Then, then one, one morning, I was sitting on the beach at Cannes at the, at the Hotel Carlton. Do you know it? No. It's wonderful. And um, I realized that my true destiny was to be the matriarch of a large, powerful family, like the Kennedys, but not Catholic. So why did you have a lot of kids? I couldn't have any more after Gregory. Oh, really? I'm sorry. Mm. Why? It hurt too bad. <laughs> I don't get what they say. Smart women never forget that kind of pain. Well, this could work out pretty good for you, Katie, because I'm going to have a buttload of kids and you could matriarch them. <laughs> Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. I don't have delusions of grandeur. That'll be what you teach them. Of course. It would be sort of like with the horses. You'd be the breeder, I'd be the trainer. Something like that. Well, exactly like that. But listen, we have a lot to do, my dear. Where is the baby? Mm, I left him with Edward. Oh, are you out of your mind? <laughs> Haven't you ever felt that divot in Gregory's forehead? Oh, for God's sakes. <laughs> oh, man, River. <laughs> He don't know nothing, he just keep rolling along. Hey, what's up? Nothing. What are you doing here? Waiting. <laughs> Waiting for what? <laughs> I rode up with him in the elevator. <laughs> uh, Marlene, uh, Mr. Montgomery will see his village now. Come on, right in here. Greg, you Hi. remember everybody Hello. is Kim and Naomi and Prospero. Hi, Pete. Hi, Hi. Sean. Hi. What's going on? Why is everybody here? A lot of important stuff came up while you were gone. Well, what are you doing here? I joined your village. <laughs> your village is growing. Yeah, and there's an opening for an idiot. Tim <laughs> Gray. Everyone feels that you and Dharma need to move to a bigger apartment. Yeah, we all feel that, Greg. <laughs> Shut up, Pete. Why? Well, because you could use the room, and because Naomi sent some unsettled spirits tethered around the place. Unsettled spirits? 
or it could just be drafty. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna go check the lobby because you seem to be short a cowboy and a construction worker. <laughs> Listen, everybody, can we not do this now? Oh, anyone second Greg's motion to be Aye, second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I'm sorry, Greg, the motion doesn't carry. <laughs> what about the refrigerator? No, 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 you don't understand. My grandchild is going to have his first exam from the head of pediatric medicine. What do you mean, impossible? Would you grant me one small favor? Would you lean out the window and look at the name on the side of the building that you're sitting in? <laughs> Yes, that Montgomery. <laughs> Two o'clock would be fine. Thank you. <laughs> yes, Kitty, it's very sweet of you to bully people for us, but we have a doctor. Well, of course you do, but wouldn't you be more comfortable with someone who's treated the children of four presidents? Well, our guy treated the Zappa kids. What are Zappa kids? <laughs> you know, Dweezil, Moon Unit. <laughs> Kitty, he doesn't need to go to a hospital. Excuse me, Dama, darling, but you asked me to get involved here. Now, do you want my help or don't you? Well, yeah, but well, I just... Well, I Then we're going to call the decorator because we really must get the nursery for, uh, for heaven's sakes. We must name this child. Well, I just thought we'd get to know him for a while and then let his spirit guide us to his true name. Uh, well, let me give you a little hint. If we name him after Edward's favorite uncle, Fergus, he might just inherit a tobacco company. <laughs> Sebastian! <laughs> Darling, it's Kitty. Oh, I have wonderful news. Yes. I am so sorry. <laughs> All right, no, I got it. The motion is modified reads, the new refrigerator will be side by side, no ice maker, but ice maker ready. Yeah! I'll say it to the day I die, you can't put a deli platter in a side by side refrigerator. <laughs>